started as an enlisted member. Um, he was an airman when he got in. Um, but since he already had a bachelor's degree, he commissioned two years in. So he got into the officer training school. He went to Alabama. We met in Ohio. Uh, and we started another life in Ohio. I tell you that in Ohio, I decided to make a difference. I decided that it was a time for me um, to start giving back. I received so much, now uh, it was my time to give back. I started being a key spouse. Key spouse meaning that I was involved with uh, military families. If the deployed member was off in Iraq and um, wherever he was deployed, I was making sure that that spouse was taken care of. <coughs> that if they needed something, I found the resources for them. Um, I did that for a few, you know, a few years. Then I became a mentor for other military spouses. Then I became an installation advocate for uh, mentors. Then I, you know, I started building up. Then I went into a nonprofit that helps and supports military families. Now to this day, I'm a board member for that nonprofit. Um, now I help and support new military spouses, not only in Ohio, not only in California, but throughout the U.S. and in other places where they may be stationed. Awesome. So. You know, I, I started a master's degree um, two years ago from George Washington University. I'm graduating in May. Mm. Yes. Woo! I'm going to say yes to that. Um, it's public relations. Um, because I, I thought, you know, for all the things that I've done in my life, building people together, making sure that people um, have resources and, and getting people together is what I do. Um, I like to be a bridge uh, gap bridge the gaps with people, and I thought that master's degree would be very helpful yeah. for the future. I Two years ago, I didn't know I was running, so now it makes more sense than ever. Um, I'm going to say that I've been a transportation coordinator for eight years in a previous job. I've been a... I've been a program manager uh, for a nonprofit. I As a mother, I can't see my child and not do anything about it. We had questions that I couldn't answer. We had thoughts of, why is this happening, Mom? And I, I couldn't, you know, I just said, well, we're going to get through this. Well, that's not enough. To me, that's not enough. We need to stand up and do something. And just like my mom did, she stood up for me. She made sure I had the resources I needed. I'm going to do the same for my child and future generations. And. I'm not going to lie, this is a hard task, this is a hard challenge, you know. To me, it's about building communities and bringing people together. You know, talking about the issues that unite us. Um, when I joined in um, the Democratic Club here, um, I was a military spouse that just arrived to Edwards Air Force Base. I want to lie. It was hard because, you know, just, just trying to prove yourself. You know, I'm a Democrat. I want to help. Anything I can do, let me know. Um, I'm here. Here's my card. That was me. Just, you know, anything you need, let me know. There was another man running. Um, his name was Robert. You probably all know him. Amazing. Um, I was there. You know, you need something, let me know. Uh, he's, he, he, he didn't run anymore. And I said, well, how can I help? How can I help? I went back to the um, to the party, and I said, well, I'm here, you know, I'm here. I I just I just had come back from San Diego from a panel they invited me. I think it was a National Women's Political Caucus, and I said to a woman, if you have the skills, you have the passion, you have the network ability, do it, run. 
I was telling that woman, you need to run. And then I came here and we were looking at each other saying, well, who's going to run? I said, no, I'm running. I'm running. This is my turn. Yes. And I know I'm not, you know, the regular politician. I'm not an elected leader. You know, I'm, I'm, I might, you know, I'm young. I get it. But we've been able to get people together. And we're able to do partnerships, and that's what some, that's what's uniting, I think, the party. I make sure that I listen to people. Um, it's not only about what we have to give, it's what everyone can share with this campaign to make it strong. Um, I'm, I'm going to say that we've had meet and greets during the year, and every meet and greet, I get from every meet and greet something that I incorporate to my campaign. So what we have right now is a working platform. Every time we have something that's important to you, we incorporate it in um, our campaign. And I think that um, we've been able to bridge the gap between trust and campaigns. It's hard, I get it, it's hard. You know, as, as a nonprofit leader, as someone that has to fight really hard to get my voice out to those elected leaders, I get it. I've been there. Um, but it's time that we provide uh, candidates that are able to connect with people, that have gone through struggles and know how to get to their goals. And I'm eager to do this. You know, it's hard again. It's going to be a hard ta battle. And someone asked me um, a few minutes ago, are you ready? Do you have the stamina to do this? I do. It's been really hard. Really hard. I'm not going to lie. But we can do this, and we can do it together. Every time I, I have a doubt that we can be a better country, I look at this. This is us. We can do this together. But, but I need you. Um, I need you to join this campaign. We can do this together. We need to bring more people involved. Um, the more we unite, the better we are. Um, I'm going to say that normally my meet and greet, I talk about... Um, where I come from, but I also want to know from you if there's an opportunity that we can go around and just tell me maybe your two priorities, the things that you want to see um, in a campaign. I would love that. Um, it doesn't have to be extensive. Just tell me what two of your top priorities are, and, and we'll go from there. Do we start with... Oh, let me start. Oh, A top priority is that we, uh, we elect somebody like yourself who's relational and you will be representing us and that you would demonstrate that you're representing us. Um, that would be very important to me that we hear once you win, we hear, we hear back from you once you win. Um, the other thing that we are currently involved in here is what's happening across the nation of our public lands being, we have to fight now to get into our public lands because of various issues and reasons. And um, I'm, whether it's here locally or nationally, that's, I would like more a representation around that. Hi, I'm Gary Amstutz, I'm originally from Toledo, Ohio. Uh, came out here through Colorado and, and now I've, I've lived in California since 1983. Uh, if I had to pick just two, which I really don't like doing, you know, I really don't like that. So there's a, a whole bunch of good issues, okay, but I would pick health care because I, I could write a book on how many times I've been screwed over by the health care system and Social Security. Um, but and number two, um, if we don't fix climate change, it doesn't yes. matter if we have health care. Yes. We're all going to be dead. All right. yes. So we need to focus on climate change. And in California, we've done a good job of getting rid of coal. We don't do that anymore. And so now what's left to work on is cars. Our, our biggest pollution emitter today in California is cars, trucks, diesels, that kind of thing. And so I'm looking for special financing to make the very expensive electric cars affordable by everybody. Thank you. Yes. Take a turn. Um, 